2016 has been a spectacular year in badminton, with stars born, records broken, and history rewritten. It's on to the new year, and we look ahead to the upcoming season that promises to be another blockbuster year. And the sports governing body is hoping the success and momentum of the previous year will carry forward to 2017. 2016 has truly been an amazing year. I mean, a crazy year in many ways, and that's how the sport should be. Huh? You know, we, we are trying to develop the game as much as we can on as, as the global sport that we aspire to be. But, um, you know, going into 2017, we have a lot of inspiration. There's a lot, lot, lot of work done, but a, a, lot, a lot of satisfying work done that we can take and bring into 2017 and hopefully make it as big a year as uh, we had in 2016. As ever, there will be plenty of tournaments on offer. At stake, glory, stardom, and a chance to be known as the best in badminton. The first major tournament is the Total BWF Sudirman Cup. Come May this year, the world's best nations will head to Gold Coast, Australia for the region's first BWF major event. And with the country no stranger to staging world sporting events, the Sudirman Cup will be nothing less than top-notch from the experienced organizers. We are in Oceania first time, a little bit of new adventure for us, uh, but, but clearly a part of the world where badminton is, is picking up very quickly. Um, so, so I think that there'll be a, an immense opportunity to show badminton at its highest in that, uh, in that region. Australia has got a great reputation for hosting big events and badminton's always been part of those big events in terms of the Olympics and the Commonwealth Games. We also of recent years have been uh, one of the Super Series events, so in fact one of the biggest of the Super Series events. Uh, but this, yes, this is the first time we've had a major team event such as the Sudivan Cup. Besides the excitement of the competition, players and fans can also look forward to the Aussie experience. Everyone just is encouraged to come along and have a great time. And the Gold Coast lends itself to that. I mean, it's a fantastic uh, uh, part of Australia. It's a great coastline, plenty of tourist opportunities. So it's an environment where people can come compete, but also have a, a great time at the same time. The big question at the 15th edition of the Biennial World Mixed Team Competition will be just who can stop China? The 10-time cup holders will be the team to beat. Not only are China gunning for their 11th crown, they're also looking for their seventh in a row. However, countries that have enjoyed a fruitful 2016 could pose a real challenge this year to the East Asians' cup hopes. Malaysia, who returned from the Rio 2016 Olympics with three silver medals, believe they have a decent shot at the title. When we talk about Sudaman Cup, Sudaman Cup is all about five categories, five disciplines. Um, a few years back, we have never thought that we are capable of delivering a strong contingent uh, to the Sudaman Cup. Today, if you look at it on paper, uh, we have three silver medals from three categories. And these three categories, if we were to perform well, basically we, are, uh, we could consider ourselves as the top nation. Denmark also have depth in their squad and could spring a surprise after etching their name on the Thomas Cup last year and bagging silver and bronze at the Olympics. It seems like Denmark, um, we have found a, a good way to, to train. Um, almost everyone is, is peaking and, and have a high level, so um, at least uh, four categories can, can be, be really good against uh, all the other countries, so we look forward for, for the Sudirman Cup in May. 2017 will also see the Total BWF World Championships held in Glasgow. This is the second time the Scottish city will be hosting the prestigious event, and from August 21st to the 27th, the best shuttlers from across the globe will battle to be crowned the world's best at the Emirates Arena. Going to Glasgow uh, later in the year will be, you know, it's not the first time we've been in Glasgow. Glasgow have developed as a big sporting city uh, and it's really exciting for us to go back to, to Glasgow. We've been there many years with many different types of events and so on, uh, but now going back there with the World Championships uh, will be, be great. So we will look very much forward. We're enormously proud to be hosting uh, the World Championships. Uh, once again, uh, we first hosted the combined 
individual and team uh, world championships in 1997 and uh, it was hailed then to be uh, the most successful to date and uh, we hope this world chance book will be even better uh, and we are looking so much forward to welcoming the players the the officials the spectators and our delegate friends to glasgow uh, and they will have a magnificent time and players who had realized their olympic dreams last year are now focusing on clinching the world title our biggest goal was to win the gold medal at the Olympics and also at the World Championships, which we have not achieved yet. I think we only made it as far as the last 16. So I want us to go further than that and finally win the world title. Dubai World Super Series Finals champion Victor Axelsson will be hoping to carry his Olympic bronze medal winning form through to 2017. You know, it's my target to better my bronze uh, at the next year's World Champs. It will be in Europe, so I'm really looking forward to go to Scotland. It will actually be my first time going to Scotland. So I'm looking forward to it and, um, you know, hopefully the preparation and everything will go well. And then uh, I really hope that I can get a good result in, in, in Glasgow as well. All set then for a new year. The race to the top starts all over again and the badminton world will be in for another season of top class action as players battle for top honours.